Hello YouTube, and we are here today with our duel with Noble Knights. Now that they have Merlin, and again, um, because it is a new card on Yugo Pro, you cannot use it in the multiplayer. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's so that way they can have people test it out against the AI, which I am doing. I am facing the AI, so that it's not really affecting this person. But uh, yeah, I just realized this guy's hat deck, who I'm facing, is running handed on the 39 cards. So that's 34 and this is 5 cards. So, yeah, that's a little bit strange. I did not realize that. I did go in and mess with it, but I must have not put it back up to the 40. But oh well, we will be facing a 39 card hat deck. So, let's just go in. And the reason I chose to face the guy's hat deck um, is because I actually did have some trouble against it a couple of times. If it could go first and it could get out the more talks and everything before I got out my combo, then more than likely I would end up losing. But I have my combo right there, pretty much nothing. I did add on it to the build, by the way, just um, just so that way I could OTK a little bit easier with so it could change. I took out a Gwenir, because you only really need one. And then we were just going to go on to combo. I did talk about this combo in the deck profile. It's very basic, it's a combo I like to play, and it just pretty much works by itself. Then we move forward to search out three. And like three that I like to search is Caliburn. Caliburn. Now if that's ever shown to you, always add Excalibur. Because what you'll see is never add Caliburn to their end specifically if they're doing this combo because I'm gonna gain uh, I think a thousand life points by the end of it. If they add Excalibur, I will not have I'm gonna have four equipped focus on one monster by the end of it. Yet um Unfortunately, yet if you gave me Excalibur, then I would only have two. And it's because Excalibur is going to re equip itself when I XD come to my XD monster. Let's see, we have a whole bunch of XD monsters we can make, but we're going to make this guy. Galatan can only activate its effect once, and he already did, so he will not have Excalibur. So, if this was Excalibur, it wouldn't be activating the effect because it doesn't have one, I'd have to do that. But now he cannot be, once per turn, he cannot be destroyed and he cannot be targeted because of his caliber, and that's what makes himself so great. And then I'm going to use Cal Caliburn's effect again, so that way I get to uh, gain another 500 life. Points. And luckily, I opened up with World Decree. It's really nice when you can have a World Decree or a Kaiser with you, because that just gives you so much more advantage. It really hurts with them trying to get rid of your monsters. Yeah, this is pretty much the base combo. This is what you're gonna do, and I'm pretty much not gonna be able to do much for the rest of the duel until maybe I draw into another level four, in which case I might be able to make the rank four and the other dusters backwards. But I already have all three, so there is no real point. I can't equip anything. My back row is full, and wow, he's got a lot. I know he runs vanity, so I do have the four just for that vanity. And then we have our one Gwen, Gwen Weir, Gwen Weir part. We have our one Queen of the Noble Knights, that's what's important. And I don't want to use his effect, his effect will destroy her, because I'm not going to be going to the game. I like to save that for when I'm going to the game. Okay, and before I forget, and do note that this guy is going to decrease his attack by 200 every time. And yeah, I need to do that. That's something you have to keep up on because again, you get so much advantage later in the game. Because it's, even if they get over your monster, it's like I have 1200 life. What so are you gonna do? And he's gonna activate a call of 100, try to blow up one of my back row with her, the, with her effect. That's gonna inevitably fail because I have all of the But he is gonna use Diona, and Diona's gonna blow up the card. And the card he needs to blow up is. Excalibur, which is what he should do, yet he will blow up Excalibur, now he's going to make Aragna zero. Alright, that's not a bad idea, actually. And he actually got over. Oh, nope. He should have made 101, actually. He should have made 101. It's just that this guy has more attack, and so the, the AI is being cool. I mean, I'd rather do against a real person, but this isn't on death pro, and this isn't on... Uh, actually, I can get another 1,000 life points, and... I cannot use this in the multiplayer, but if you had made one of one cast out, I would be out. 
a long night monster here that will not be too horrible thing. Thank you. I need to get a lady and a lake in the grave that would probably help me. And I think I would... I think I might just leave this open. I don't want to give it to her. Just yet. But I do want to get a lady in the lake in the grave just so that way if I get boys, I can only put this and make it a five. Well, not the rank 5, the level 5 synchro. And that should help me out just a little bit. Get out some more here. Even if he if doesn't get rid of this monster, I will still be able to make it next turn because I have the rain. So it doesn't really matter if I draw any boards at this point. Can I attack this 200, which would be good for me. Because I I think I'll have game next turn actually. Hmm. And they're drawing to that, so that's not bad. I'm actually gonna be game so I'm gonna do just a little bit more combos, I'm not gonna go straight for game. Just so that way you guys see exactly what normal I see. He's gonna attempt the bottom list, but that's gonna fail again. And we're gonna make the only monster. She will be banished as you saw. For some reason, she likes to banish herself, which is unfortunate. Because otherwise, you'd be able to use her effect, but I mean, like, it should be if uh, she is summoned by her own effect that she gets banished by the plague spreader. Yet, unfortunately, she will banish herself no, every time she is summoned. Do I want? Again, as you see, I can equip some of these guys from deck, so I could increase my life points by a lot. And I'm not sure I want to do that. Actually, like, this guy makes me go minus 500, and I'm gonna blow up his entire back row anyway. I'm just gonna go with another Taliban. Oh wow, it destroys itself. That I did not know, I didn't actually know that. But I'm going to destroy a trap trick from the mill. And then, I could go for game right now, just attack, but yet I just want to do a little bit more combos. I'm gonna banish a Scalibur to target for rank 5 to come out for rank 4 just so that way you guys can see what this guy does and that way we get all of these guys on to us do I? I'm gonna equip 3, no I don't because I just want to recover it Calibre would probably be the best that is interesting, I did not know that it would actually destroy itself so if you have nothing better and you want one in the grave, then that is a... Or a second copy of one, that is a bad idea. So now we gain 500. And we're gonna equip Scalibur. No, what am I and I'll destroy his two back row. I can destroy more, I can destroy up to four cards, which is pretty nice. Oh, and he has a more cost. What is he gonna target? Should have saw that one coming. He's gonna target him, and I'm gonna laugh at him. So, yeah, I had game, but now obviously I don't have game. Yeah, I don't. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I used Calvin already. And Molotov, he does not target, so he can uh, attempt to destroy, but yet this guy will protect me. So I'll just get rid of him, and then go in for 21. And I guess we'll have no choice for the past turn. Maybe we might just use some of our tech cards, but yeah, not that we'd actually be able to use any of them with our back row being full. Your back row is normally full of equips for because like every time I play this deck, like it ends up being full. So you go into a lot of your spell cards, and this is like I can't activate this. And sometimes you just have to drop Rotas because your hand is just so full. You can't kill. It's like you have to kill your opponent quickly, otherwise, oh uh, well, we're gonna get in a attack. Otherwise, uh, Galatin is just gonna do some monsters attack to you. And next turn, you, this turn, you guys are gonna see the true power of this guy. He's probably even more powerful than I'd say the rank 5. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna go off, actually. Which is unfortunate. Well, for me, not for him. See, this is another golden rule. If you have game, go for it. 
specifically against the hat deck that runs back row. I should have known that he had an artifact face down. But oh well. Again, another 500 life points. And even if he does end up destroying our monster, then we will just equip all these guys back to uh, our ignoble, ignoble line. So we're gonna pop two of his back row. Could have bopped all of them, but he decided to act. And they will just trap us, so that's pretty nice for us. And yet, as you, as I was saying, you can activate Rota, so sometimes Rota just sticks in your hand for, for a very long amount of time. Actually, we can't get rid of this guy. It's unfortunate. But he is top decking, so there isn't much our opponent can really do at this point. So you can only be used for a warrior type synchro, and the only other warrior type that could possibly be our animus would be, um... God, I can't remember his name. The level 6 synchro common card uh, that nobody really uses. And he's gonna attempt to activate a trap card, but it's gonna be negated. And I'm going to to have gain. After I gain another 500 life points, so we will end this with 12,000 life points. That great amount of advantage really makes it hard for your opponent, even if they do get over your monsters, to really hurt you. And again, this was against the AI, not against a real person, so it was a little bit upsetting that I didn't get in a real duel. And that if he had actually made one of one, it would have been a little bit different. And I hate how it just acted as out like that, and I can't even save the replay. But oh well, this is normal nice, this is how they work, and, or at least this is my build. There's a couple other different builds, be it. I think the deck's alright, it's very decent, it's very powerful. It's gonna be like a tier 2 deck, probably very budget friendly if you're a budget player. Like me, I'm a player of I'm just been buying packs because I find those much more fun. So, like, I've been not been playing competitively really except for local. But yet, um, yeah, the deck's really nice. I recommend picking up the box just just to have the deck. I might, I'm pro in fact, I probably will. I yeah, and I will probably be having a clipboard deck profile with some new things and some just tech cards that I think might be interesting for clipboards to have that they do have access to very readily and so yeah this is the um duel with normal knights don't forget to check out some of the annotations that will be up over here when i'm done speaking and the links in the description specifically the strap lock link it can help you get the uh, normal knight box and i just realized we never used more the fact that very upsetting dang we didn't use uh, the fact that it doesn't it's just another rota for medrod that's all it is is a rota no, you'd never get the opportunity to quick kick the or quick single because you're never gonna have two monsters on your side. So this deck is a very big deck that has one monster and one monster only on their side of the field. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more and check out some of my other videos and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, if you could click on the links and on the annotation to see the duel with this deck or some of my other videos, that would really help. And check out the links in the description to watch some of me and my friends' videos and even something that could help make this deck a reality for you. See you guys later. Bye.